Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome NCBA President-elect J.D. Alexander and CBB Vice Chair Weldon Wynn. Welcome to Music City USA and your second general session of this 2012 Cattle Industry Convention. I'm Weldon Wynn, Vice Chairman of the Cattlemen's Beef Board, and I hail from the natural state of Arkansas, where we take care of nearly two million cattle and are proud to be the great state of the apple blossom, the mockingbird, and of course, the 2012 Cotton Bowl champion, Razorbacks. <laughs> I thought you'd call them a little better than that. <laughs> it's a pleasure to be here with you today and great to see such a great turnout of folks who care about this industry. And I'd have to say that we're pretty lucky to have the opportunity together like this and have so many friends and fellow farmers and ranchers. You know, the importers are here also who are willing and able to volunteer time away from their home to get the work done for this industry. So I would like to thank each of you for giving of your time and effort, but I also think we should stop and give a big thank you to our meetings and the convention folks who work all year on putting together the next one of these uh, great big functions. We know that's a big and important job, but I'm guessing it probably sometimes feels pretty thankless. So let's show them all our appreciation today. <laughs> to get us moving this morning, I'm gonna hand off to my good friend, J.D. Now to let you know what we're in for for the rest of the morning. All right. Well, thank you, Weldon. Do you realize I used to be able to dance like that? <laughs> I, I was there. Well, the older, the older I get, the better I was, too. Just remember that. So, <laughs> Yesterday, the inspirational like story you heard from Marcus Luttrell. We must be fearless, determined, and motivated as leaders of this industry. Are we ready to climb the mountain? Today's programming will get us on that path. We have Bob Beckel and Cal Thomas to provide a little insight to how to get business done both in Washington, D.C. and our industry. 